All right, let's see how she breaks. Okay, should I go down the middle of the road or no, just, just hope gonna, those guys get out of the way? Yeah, just hit, hit the brakes when yeah. you get into the cones. And we'll uh, get the tape measure out, actually the rolling measure, and see how she does. The official Mr. Truck. <laughs> Good old tape measure. <laughs> tape measure. All right, let's see how uh, much we have right now. So we're at uh, from the top. Let's call it. Uh, what would you say? Ten inches. Yeah. Ten okay. inches. So if we actually raise this. I remember last time it was a little bit lower than that. It looks like the back end came up. Right. For some reason, this does not have a slow plow package, so it's not super big coils. But I think they're using the same coils in the diesel and the gas engine. This is the gas engine six point. Two. Yeah. And so before the back end was a little lower than the front end. It was setting a little off. And now with the air suspension, we were able to level the truck out when we wanted it. So actually, it raised back in about an inch. The truck is the levelest it's ever been, and it's birth that it's born. So let's hope it stays level when you hook up your trailer to it. Why don't exactly. you go to it? I'll, okay. let you do your, I'll let you do your magic. <laughs> you got about. Uh, you're right, almost on top of it. Keep going. Keep going a little bit more. Right there. Stop. See how much it squats. Ooh, that scared me. <laughs> grab that lever. So now you're pumping up the air suspension, right? I hear it. There yeah. goes a compressor. The compressor came on. Now it yeah. knows what to do. It actually will level itself out. It senses the weight and it'll put more pressure in the air bank. All right, the moment of truth. We're at, uh, we're almost at 70 psi and we were about 10 inches before. And look at that. We're, uh, at about 10 inches now. Yeah, so it didn't squat with the trailer. And that's 10,000 pounds worth of trailer. Obviously not all 10,000 pounds are on the back Right, here. it is probably 20% of that. So we're looking at 2,000 pounds. Yeah, probably about 2,000 pounds and it didn't squat a, a, a bit. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Will it be a, a smooth riding? Yes, well, we, we can take that out and see what you think. You can sit in there and tell me what you think, but it should be. It shouldn't change. That's the kind of air system on this. With that single-stage airbag, it will not change the ride basically loaded to empty, which is what you want. Instead of being a rougher ride, you know, empty and a better ride loaded, this should be better ride both directions. Last time, please. Yep, 60 miles an hour. Right? Here we go. Yeah. All right, here it comes. And hit the brakes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, it felt, it felt shorter. Yeah, it that's... felt shorter. There was less wheel hop. It really did feel shorter. Let's each let's, time we did a brake stand, you know, yeah, all the way. Yeah, let's do this. Measure it. I felt like we were kind of porpoising last time we did it. This time it was dead flat. Yeah, it's a nice flat stop. It went flat and it felt, well, it felt slower in terms of speeding down. Does that make sense? It, yeah. It felt yeah. shorter. It felt like I was really being pushed right. against the seatbelt. Let's find out. So. We'll find out here. So what was it? What's the verdict? 148.2. 148.2. So we averaged 152 last time right. about. So, two runs. so let's do it again. Okay. We're gonna find out if we can get four feet shorter. <laughs> One more time. Awesome. We're gonna average it. Holy moly! So we, we beat the record. We averaged that. <laughs> and we're gonna be I'm gonna do some rough math here, right? Yeah. 141, 148, take about three away, so we're about 144. That would be good. That would yeah. be good. So that's about uh, eight. About, right? about eight, eight, feet, eight shorter. feet shorter. You know, that's the difference between hitting a car, yeah. a child, a house, and not. I mean, that, that's a significant distance. Well, that is. That's about half the length of the truck. Yeah. So. Yeah, and I think 
you know, combine that with the fact that we went, I think, almost half a second faster to 60, I think we're seeing some real improvements here. Yeah, and I think the truck was staying level too. I think we didn't have a corpus action like you talked about. Yeah, it wasn't corpusing. It was kind of this nice and level. Yeah, right control truck. So let's do the other test. Let's run the cones and see how she looks. We got the yes. camera mount underneath and let's see how she looks going uh, some fast left and right. Okay. okay. All right, Kent, here we go. Let's see how she does in the cone test. Or he does. What's an F-250? Is it a he or a she? Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's got to be a boy. It's got to be a boy. You're right. All right, take her up. Take him up. Okay. You got the speed. The speed. And uh, now we're hoping that the underbody cam will show that it's much flatter. Here we go. Okay. There's that Audi. I'll try not to hit the Audi. You didn't hit the Audi. It feels completely in control and completely level. Yeah. Yeah, it feels good. That was easy to handle and it did. It wasn't so scary. First of all, the leaf spring was a little scary. Of course, the question that you might be thinking is how about reliability? And we can't test that over a three-day period of the install. But Kent, will you do me a favor? Can we come back a year from now and re-measure this truck and do the same test and see how this air suspension is holding up? Oh, that would be great. That would be great. And if people want to check out your website, where do they go? MrTruck.com. And if people want to go check out the air suspension website? AutoFlexAirSuspension.com. And if you want to check out Mr. Truck and the AutoFlex, come to TFLTruck.com. As always, this is Roman and... Kent. Saying thanks for watching and see you guys next time. Thank you, Kent. You bet. Now, this Autoflex air suspension replacement that we just did, you know, with no drilling, no welding, none of that, bolted right where leaf spring went, which is the big advantage to it. The other features is, you know, you got an air compressor, you got a three gallon tank, you can run an impact wrench, and you can drop it five inches. The back of this truck will drop down. If you want to reach over to get your tools, reach over to get your shovels, whatever you need to do, or hook it on the hook in your trailer. If you got the trailer unhooked and you drop it, hey, I guess right, I should let me find help, the lever. Let me help the expert. <laughs> should I just, should I just push this lever? Yeah, pull it forward. Pull it forward. So. I hope the expert can see. <laughs> I'm not used to this one. See, that's how much it dropped. So now, visualize it. I actually have it up. Let me lift the trailer up a little bit. There we go. Now, you back up under your trailer. Your truck has dropped five inches. You back up underneath it. You get it underneath the ball. And then you just trip that lever again. Roman, did you find it? Yes, I found it. <laughs> and you lift the truck back up. And there it goes. It connects to your trailer. See, so especially if you've got a hand crank on your on your trailer, think about jacking it all that time. If you can take five inches out of that equation, that may be half the stroke of your jack. A great feature to have is let the truck do the work.